Hi, my name is Charles and I'm one of the maths teachers from the Maxim Workshop. I'm just going to now teach you how to do some math. Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to calculate voltage drop. Now, the voltage drop, commonly known as the PD or the potential difference, is more commonly related to physics and, of course, electricity. Now, within a particular circuit, you might find you have a power supply And that's normally denoted by this, like say a battery or something like that. And we'll give this a rating of 10 volts. Now voltage, again, is like the electrical force that provides the um, electrons with the electrical energy to move around, okay? Now, we might have a few resistors um, within our circuit. And you might think of this, I mean, a good analogy would be to think of the electrons that whiz round, not at an extremely fast pace, it's actually the energy that goes around at the speed of light. But the electrons that whiz round, you might think of them as being like water um, along a stream. And these, which are your resistors, you might think of them as being logs of wood within, um, say, your stream path. Now, any canoeist that goes around will find some sort of um, resistance at these two points here. Now, in order for him to actually move past those two points at the same speed, he's obviously going to have to try harder, i.e. apply a force. Now, this is the electrical force that you see here. So over these two points, we find that force is used, electrical force is used to move the current through these points at the same um, speed, okay? So within a circuit like this, the current does flow at the same speed. I mean, even though you find resistors here, the current moves past these points at the same speed because this force maintains the speed of the current, okay? So if we give these two resistors um, values, we might call this two ohms, and we might say that this one has a resistance of three ohms. Now that's your standard measurement for resistance. Now, um, within electricity you have a relationship as this, V equals IR. Okay, so the voltage equals I divided by, I mean I multiplied by R. So the first thing we want to do is add these two resistances up. And in the configuration that we have them here, we can do that. So 2 plus 3 is just 5. So your total resistance is 5 and your total voltage is 10. Okay, so we have a manipulation of this provides us with um, the current, which is just basically V. We take the R over to the side of the V. Now the R is multiplying on this side, so when it gets over to this side, it's gonna be doing the opposite operation, which is division. So we've got V divided by R. Now, um, again, the voltage is 10, and the resistance is five. So all we have here is two amps as our current, okay? Now we go back to um, these two points here and these two points here. Now again, just to recap, we want to find the voltage that would be used across these two points to maintain the current speed and across these two points to maintain the current speed. So with our equation here, we use this equation again and again. Um, so we know the amps and we know the voltage, okay? So um, what we don't know though is the voltage across these two points individually. So we know it in total, but not um, assigned to these two points. Now to calculate the voltage drops across um, this resistance and this resistance, we're gonna need to use this equation. So we come out here and we say the voltage drop 
across these two points is equal to the current that flows across here by the resistance. So again, just V equals IR. So the um, current is two amps and the resistance is two ohms. So we've got two amps multiplied by two ohms, which is just equal to four volts, okay? Now that is the um, um, particular voltage drop that occurs across here. Now, that gives you two ways of calculating the voltage drop across here. The first way is the simplest, is actually just to look at this whole circuit and say that whatever voltage we start off with as the source, um, all the um, constituent parts within here must use it up. So obviously if we have four volts over here, then this must be a sink where voltage is dropped. So we have the remaining six volts that drops across here. So we have six volts and coming from simply just saying 10 volts, take away four volts. Now the second way is obviously then just to use the equation, which would have just been this. And then we would say, the voltage here is equal to, again, um, the current multiplied by the resistance. And we have two amps times three ohms. And that again gives you six volts. And that's pretty much how to calculate voltage drop.